Hello, welcome to Chris Betts Versus. I am Chris Betts. This is my favorite thing in the world right now. I, uh, uh, this is a game where I bring on comedians. I debate the opposite of anything that they say. We argue all sorts, all sorts of wacky stuff. Uh, sometimes it's funny. Sometimes it's serious. Sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's just fucking lovely, which is nice. Um, I uh, I'm drinking for the first time on the show tonight because uh, I watched the inauguration all day, and my wife is Iranian, and he's about to take away the Muslim ban. So I'm fucking celebrating. Uh, things are good. I feel good. Granted, I haven't really spoken to anyone today except for my wife and I, just making fun of all the cutaways to Republicans whenever Joe Biden mentioned unity, which was just perfect camera work, really good production there. Um, anyways, welcome to the show. If you haven't watched before, like I said, I'll argue the opposite of anything. Uh, so uh, it's important that I point out that just because I say a thing, that doesn't mean that I mean that thing. I'm just playing the game. It's very important that you know I'm not taking any stands on this show. Uh, recently, I argued that uh, apartheid was great because uh, it created communities that were immune to gentrification. That's not how I feel, but I did almost win that argument. I'm uh, pretty glad I lost actually. Winning an argument in favor of apartheid isn't a great sot, uh, great, great thing to accomplish. Anyways, uh, I have a guest comedian and a judge today. Uh, I invite some of my favorite comedians on because uh, I miss them and I haven't seen them in a year. And this is a very fun game for me to play with them. So first I'm gonna introduce my opponent. The guest today is Sean McLaughlin. He's fantastic. Please clap, cheer in your homes where I can neither see nor hear you. And welcome to the screen, Sean McLaughlin. Yay. Hello. Yay. What's up? <laughs> How you doing buddy? I'm good, thanks man. Glad I could fit good. you in between wanks. Hey, um, hey, that's gotta be a busy schedule. Always. Yeah. That's um that's a big big map behind you there. Are you are you a traveling man or just a fan of geography? I always want to be reminded of all the places that I don't want to go to. Brexit <laughs> means Brexit, man. It doesn't just mean leave, it also means stay. It means yeah, I view it as <laughs> <Yeah>. a prison. <laughs> well, welcome to the game. Are you feeling um argumentative? Have you got opinions to share today? You know what? I always try and not have opinions in my life in general. Mm. I'm yeah. sort of um I sort of, you know, I, I just, I just tend to try and avoid them. But uh, as soon as I got asked to do this show, a deep well of hate and vitriol really did rise up. So yes, uh, yes, let's uh, let's do it. That's the spirit. All right. Well, we're going to be arguing, and uh, because this is an argument-based show, and no one can admit that they've lost an argument, I bring in a judge for every show. Today, it is a, a, a very good friend of mine, former housemate, uh, friend of the show, Evelyn Mock. Clap, cheer in your homes. Welcome to the screen, Yay! Evelyn Mock. Yay! <laughs> I'll just clap and cheer for myself as well. <laughs> How you doing, Hi, Moxie? Chris. I'm good. It's good to see good. our old living room. Yeah. Right behind you there. That's right. But That's we took down nice. we took down all the post-it notes that had Andrea's screenplay on it. <laughs> <laughs> and and a random penis that by the way made it on to one of my self-tapes and was the reason that I got the part. No. Because I had a, a penis on a post-it behind me. <laughs> and the director found it really funny. <laughs> That's great. Do you, can yeah. you share what show that was? Oh, it was a short. It was um, Andy Osho's uh, Sky Halloween Fright short. Fair enough. I mean, <laughs> no one loves a dick joke you more than Andy it. Osho. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, very true. Right. Well, um, yeah. Evelyn, you know how the game works because you've done it before. But just yes. to remind you, you are judging not based on who's right. You're judging mm -hmm. based on who makes the best argument. Mm-hmm. So you can't, um, you can't, I mean, Ed, Ed Day or Ed Knight, uh, professional name, Ed Knight was giving out points based on t-shirts last week. It was fucking chaos. Anything was possible. On oh, t-shirts, so, uh, well, okay. That's why you don't invite a hobo to a Twitch gig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will actually give out points for uh, the most Richard Curtis, uh, like movie references. Oh, wow. That's much more cultured than what you said on Instagram, which was just pro vagina arguments. <laughs> so <laughs> I know I thought I'd uh, highbrow it because basically this is a debate show, right? And you guys, you both are probably uh, the best debaters or like, like mm. you're very good at making arguments. Both of you. We're just difficult. There's a big difference. <laughs> uh, we Two are difficult people. We are white and confident. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, why I'm here. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the alibi. I'm the, I'm the, well, we've, I mean, if COVID has proven anything, it's that Asia knows what's going on. And so we brought you in to be the South Korea for our, our uh, uh, decision making. 
so you you just keep us posted hello baldy Great. watching watching on the stream it's good to see you as always excellent excellent man baldy um he used emoticons with john hastings face on it the other day <gasps> and and i was i've never been so jealous of john hastings in my life i didn't know that was even an option um <laughs> who by the way fell wait, off his john, bike. Wait, john, john hastings has got his own emoji apparently yeah yeah you can make them Oh, you can make them. Okay. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, like Apple didn't sit down and just yeah. <laughs> make was, You know how we're going we're gonna to get back on Facebook? Yeah, <laughs> Hastings in it. They went, made different races, and then Hastings. That was the first individual. <laughs> It'll be Hastings, then Obama. Uh, they needed, like, the, he's kind of like the white balance. Like, you know, when you do cameras and you set yeah. the white balance, yeah. John is that for emojis. <laughs> All right, uh, we are going to get going. So we're going to start Ooh. with the first. Um, oh, Sadaf, uh, my wife is watching on the Twitch stream. She <gasps> says hello, and she is pro vagina jokes. Hi, Sadaf. Uh, it's very nice to know that she's just below, like downstairs <laughs> watching is, from yeah, her room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Um, all right, so we're, we're going to get going with the first round uh, where, uh, Sean, I think you may have brought a topic for me to argue. What do you got, big guy? I would like you to argue that Shrek <laughs> is better than Citizen Kane. Okay, all right, done. Now, speaking as someone who has seen Shrek three times and Citizen oh. Kane zero times, I think that speaks for itself. I've seen a lot of good films and never has Citizen Kane brought me in. From what I understand, it's about an old man and a sled, which I believe <laughs> is also half of the Christmas films. Um, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah. Um, Is Citizen Kane a Christmas film? Every film's a Christmas film Every in my Every film's house. a Christmas film, that's true. <laughs> that is very true. Because you have that white stuff. <laughs> I love Joke. being white so much. Oh, I thought I thought she was accusing you of doing a lot of cocaine. Yes, that yes, was that was the... it. Yes, yes, yes. All right, fair yes, right. yes, yes. Or yes. snow. She could yeah. have been saying snow. Snow, so, snow. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Snow. <laughs> um, there's a uh, uh, Shrek is um, a perfect film. It's got. Uh, Shrek is a sorry uh, a perfect film. A perfect film. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can There's you just say zero. three of the ways that it's it's perfect? Just three. Uh, I want five. I want five. Character she development. Wants five. Excellent character arc for Shrek. Sure. For Sh mm -hmm. Okay. What's it, what is the arc? Please um, tell he, me. He goes. Please from, tell me how his arc is greater than Charles Foster Kane's arc. He, he goes from <laughs> uh, zero to hero. Classic. Uh, classic arc. So good they sang about it in the Hercules film. Um, oh. Oh, yeah, that's before Shrek was released. It's pro. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's the same. That's the same production company and yeah. stuff. Or yeah, Disney. Absolutely. Or they, I think <laughs> they're throwing. They're throwing a no hitter. They're a perfect, uh, perfect company. Do not look into any of the views of Walt Disney. Um, <laughs> there's uh, um, there's it's pro interracial uh, relationships because they have <laughs> uh, donkey marry a dragon. Oh uh, yeah. Very progressive. Um, also, uh, pr uh, excellent uh, body beauty standards where uh, instead of him turning human. She turns into an ogre, and and they're in yeah. love with each other, right? That's positive. Yep. That's good. Yeah. Um, they uh, um, they have a, a gingerbread man who withstands torture, which shows strength of spirit among even the weakest among us. Citizen Kane has that though. To be fair, I would actually like uh, Sean to tell us about Citizen Kane, and then also argue for it because I also haven't seen it. Okay. Um, and so, because I'm also very cultured, uh, but I will let Chris finish. No, no, no. Okay. I, I, let's 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 hear from let's hear from Sean. What do we got? Okay. Uh, the greatest film ever made uh, about the life and times of a media tycoon in America in the early 20th century. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Redefined filmmaking. Redefined what Hollywood could do. Cinema is an art form. It's about an old man and his sled. And the sled is voiced by Martin Lawrence, the original <laughs> Eddie Murphy. And uh, is the sled wearing a dress? The sled doesn't wear a dress. No, it's not. You know, it, it, it was a different time. Yeah, for Evelyn. Yep. Yep. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. The, yes. the trans debate had not entered the sled arena okay, in 1941. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's just one of the all-time great films. It doesn't have Smash Mouth uh, All Star. What's that song? All Star that's a by point, Smash yeah, Mouth? That's a point, yeah. that's a point against immediately. Now, that, name that, name that, one song off the Citizen Kane soundtrack. 
And that is probably the only slight against this film is that it doesn't have that. Uh-huh. Though when my cut reach, reaches audiences, uh-huh. that song is not just in it, but frankly, it waterboards the entire film. Will wow. will wow. it will it be playing like in a small? Will it be like inserted, like just at the like left bottom or something? Yeah, I'm and the video is just playing. I'm just gonna play the music. It's not uh-huh. even the song is in the background. It's literally no, it's you're watching the video. it, and at the bottom yeah. right, it's. You get to also watch the yeah. video uh-huh. for All Star by Smash Mouth uh-huh. again and again and again. In I really like color. that, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So people always say that um, uh, uh, Wells redefined film with this mm. with Citizen Kane, right? Mm-hmm. But it was so early in film that if anything could have redefined film back then. <laughs> That's no excuse. That's that's arguing that Babe Ruth is the best baseball player of all time when he played before black people played. There's what the no, fuck it is was Babe too Ruth early. or baseball? <laughs> it's, it's a candy bar. This is an international show. We're incorporating it, and I know no cricket references. Uh, so you never will. <laughs> like to I never, I never will. Um, I will watch Citizen Kane before I watch cricket. Uh, <laughs> no, it was it's it was at such a low bar back then that to redefine it is basically meaningless where shrek embodied what it means to be a success for a generation when all these mm. titanic had already been made gladiator had been made lethal weapons one two and three had been made mm-hmm. there was a whole oh. earth to draw off i would actually like to know um uh, sean mm. what were some of the like because I'm such a Philistine, what were some of the um, things that it redefined, uh, or like the uh, Orson Welles? Like also an anecdote, I heard that Orson Welles on the first day of filming, he would always fire somebody from yeah. set to like assert his dominance. You know, kind of toxic, but okay. But yeah. <laughs> but that might have been a plant. He might have just fired the same person yes. on every. Maybe it was like yes. his wife. I, yeah, I just, I just oh, want to yeah. let people watching yeah. this and listening to this know that Chris literally did that as well at the beginning of this. Sh- yeah. We, we, we got yeah. to the Zoom to like get yeah. ready to do this recording and then mm-hmm. he fired like some intern. It was like, you're yeah. out of here. Yeah. Yeah. R- R- Ramesh was supposed to be on and I fired him right before the show. <laughs> I was like, get out of here. I was really impressed <laughs> by that. Yeah. He Very fired impressed. him and, it, and you know what? It was for bad reasons that he fired <laughs> him. Um, <laughs> Stop having kids. <laughs> Um, so I many think, kids. I think with uh, with Citizen Kane, it's basically the idea that basically there's one tracking shot that's really famous where they go up through a theater. The mm-hmm. whole idea that it was kind of non-linear storytelling. Mm-hmm. Um, Kurosawa also, did that. Not interested. Oh. Well, this is also true. Um, Asia did it better yet again. Another reference I don't get, but I appreciate <laughs> it because it's Asian. Yeah. Okay, I. Look, I, I can't pretend that Citizen Kane is Asian. <laughs> How many vaginas? Do. How many vaginas are in it? Probably How many none. Vaginas are Probably in zero it? vaginas. How many True. vaginas would you say are in Shrek, though? Um, uh, uh, metaphorically, like, like it, seven. Like images of a vagina. Name say. all of them, please. Uh, now, uh, when the dragon stands up like that, there's like a oh, quick. Yeah? You know how Disney likes to put genitals in there? There's a big dragon vagina right underneath it. I really, uh-huh. really, um, really don't think that there is for <laughs> even one millisecond. Um, um, yeah, yeah. There's an upskirting of Fiona in the director's cut. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I remember that's uh, that's why Cameron Diaz took on that role because of the upskirting because she really because after she couldn't top it after uh, that's so Mary or something about Mary something about Mary yeah that's the, so, the, that's so the Mary sperm, yeah. yeah that is so is that Mary what, that's, just so that's Mary. the Swedish title that's so Mary that's so Mary sounds like a teen film based on the nativity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Typical Mary, always trying to give birth on Christmas. Mary. Um, <laughs> um, look, there are Shrek is a great film. It has a few things the Citizen Kane doesn't have. <laughs> it has Smash Mouth. Ogre upskirting. It has, it has multiple, <laughs> multiple illegal upskirt shots oh. of vaginas oh. yeah. that didn't need to be there because, oh. lest we forget, they are not yeah. real actors. Yeah. Added nothing Hate to the story. They, they were. <laughs> painstakingly created by a team of animators. <laughs> uh, um, but I just think on the whole, 
in 100 years, 200 years, which of these films are people going to be talking about? See, I, okay, so I would say um, in like in an actual, in, I'll make an actual argument. I won't just talk about dragon vaginas. Um, I would say that uh, maybe in, an, in like an art craft sense, it's possible, mm. it's possible, not necessarily true that Citizen Kane is a better film than Shrek. But I would say that what Shrek means to a generation makes it a better film in the way that it connected with more people. Because is Shrek your, is, oh. no, it's actually a generation just below, uh, just below mine, um, mm. where it seems to be like a benchmark of joy. And it's one of the most memeable things. People are drawn back to it time and again. It clearly means everything to a generation. Whereas mm -hmm. I don't think there was any, any generation that was ruthlessly quoting Citizen Kane. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I think is this a because art is art is about connection and it's about uh, how it how you interact with it and uh -huh. I think that um, while while uh, um, you know Citizen Kane is like a, a beautiful thing to look at you know uh, uh, there's a, 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 a humanity and a, a, a love and a passion that Shrek created that makes it better art um, I will say it, let me it, are these are any of these quotes from Citizen Kane uh, quite frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. No. No. Uh, um, yes, it is. Wait, no. no. Neither of you have seen it. That quote is from Citizen That is from <laughs> Casablanca, <laughs> I believe. Yep, yep, that yep, is yep. from... Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> is that Citizen Kane? Okay. Where we're okay, going, like we don't it. need roads. What about, we have sleds. <laughs> what about the um, the sound effects that Michael Wilson does? Are those Citizen Kane as well? Those are Citizen Kane. Honestly, those are watch police. it. It's so great. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, is how, this is how good this film is. The quote, my name is Shrek and this is my partner, Donkey, is from Citizen Kane. <laughs> is... <laughs> That is incredible. That On is the incredible, shoulders of Sean. giants we stand. Uh huh. Look at um, that dragon vagina. I agree with you to an extent, Chris, but I would also say <laughs> uh, I, I agree with you about the dragon vagina. But uh, indisputable. You're I supposed love, to be mortal enemies. You can't agree, Sean. I love Shrek. Look, okay. we, we all love Shrek. <gasps> but the fact is, Shrek Two. Mm. is better than Shrek. And that's how bad Citizen Kane is. It's worse than both Shreks. <laughs> okay, is it judgment time? All right, yeah, we'll, we'll call it there. I feel like or this is getting real passionate. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I'm happy to continue as well, but I, I just realized, I just remembered something that is very good and very oh. bad for Sean. Oh, um, yes, all right, then it's judgment time for sure. <laughs> oh, it's going to be something yeah. really weird. It's yeah. going to be something horrible, isn't it? <laughs> it's, gonna, it's actually something really sweet, but definitely is not to your favor in this argument. Um, so, I, I mean, I'm going to side with, well, okay, I can't say it. I, I'm not going to say yet, but I will say, Chris, you you presented very well thought out arguments. Ooh. I thought you had very you had um, uh, you had you went in and you brought a, you um, found points and and facts that um, uh, you uh, took. Uh, <laughs> why am I so bad at talking? Basically, I thought Chris's arguments were better. <laughs> and, and Sean, um, Sean, uh, uh, you you weren't as specific as Chris. Um, yes, you 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 said you had the fact that Citizen Kane is one of the best films of all time. It changed, uh, you know, <laughs> redefined the film industry. Blah 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 blah. But you didn't give me any specifics. Granted, I haven't seen Citizen Kane. I have seen Shrek, yeah, and also it's, the it's a better movie. It's just it is a better movie. Yeah. It's, it's in color. <laughs> it's in color. Um, <laughs> but but also, Sean, the fact that you then agreed with Chris really kind of undermined your own a stance on Citizen Kane and Sean, you at your reception had your wedding cake was Fiona and Donkey. Your, your wedding there you cake go. Wasn't was an, Fiona and Donkey. Wasn't George Hurst <laughs> and his sled. At the reception. Or William Randolph you... Hurst. <laughs> All right. I mean, there is nothing I can. I cannot make another comment about that. My wedding reception, uh -huh. our wedding cakes were Shrek and Donkey. Uh -huh. um, uh, we just thought it would be really funny. We didn't, you know, we just thought, <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be funny if we just got ourselves made into Shrek and Donkey for our wedding? <laughs> and then we discovered about six months ago, we were drunk, uh, that uh, the cake had gone viral as part of, there's a, there's a Twitter, uh, there's a Twitter account called 
cakes with threatening auras, <laughs> where ours assumed, our wedding cake seemed to have gained some sort of godlike status. Um, Why what a specific have... account. That's so funny. Mad. Threatening auras. Mm. So, so the the cake maker had captured your your kind of threatening spirit. In the well, cake. I don't know. I, I mean, I guess they just viewed it as such a bizarre thing for a wedding. I think, and, I, and we looked at all the comments. We were laughing so much. They just go, "Why the fuck would anyone do this?" And people get really like, "Fucking why people?" And I just went to write back, going, "Yeah, we were joke. We knew yeah. it was shit. We thought it was funny." <laughs> <coughs> You haven't, invented, you haven't Excellent. invented comedy, you fucking twat on yeah. Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I like the commitment of getting a laugh with your cake. I think that's great. Mm. Thank you. It was very, um, it was, yeah. And it was very tasty as well. Mm-hmm. Very thank tasty you. I say thank you. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> cook it. <laughs> All right. Um, look, I accept mm. that I'm wrong here. Mm. I don't know if that happens a lot, Chris, but. I accept that I'm wrong. Incredibly rare. And um uh <laughs> I appreciate your um uh your your excellent loserdom. I hope uh, the, I, I hope that's, that you that's, that's not the first time I've been said that's been said to me in my life. I hope that you don't expect the same from me. I'm a terrible loser. I'm gonna hold on to my arguments to the grave. Uh I grasp to the dragon vaginas um of my mind i don't know uh all right so you've convinced me so much that i've got actually an original copy of the shooting script of citizen kane wow. uh apparently it's worth tens of thousands of pounds and i'm actually just gonna go and destroy it because <laughs> you've convinced me so much that's it it's over you don't need this yeah, anymore yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy to have freed you i don't uh, actually have that yeah. by the way if i did have that i wouldn't be doing twitch streams on a wednesday night <laughs> Very, very enjoy, uh, enjoyable. All right, so that's, that's one point for me, and I will take it very happily. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go on to the first speed round now. So, uh, Josh, if you could get the clock up, please. Okay. Uh, now, Sean, do you want to be for or against all of the topics that Evelyn is about to say? Uh, I'll be for them. Four. Good man. Broke the streak. Okay. It has been unanimously against by British oh, comedians. Really? Unanimously. Ooh. Ooh. So you are you are the first pro. Congratulations, you've set yourself Thank apart. You. Thank you. You're also the first good loser. I mean, you're you're really Alexis is a lucky lady. <laughs> Alexa, Alexa, sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, I said Alexis too before. Sorry, Alexa. Oh, sorry about that. Um, okay, so we're gonna do the speed <laughs> round now. Uh, Evelyn, you have the topics up. I have the topics. Excellent, cool. Josh, please start the clock. Speed round, go. Updates. App updates, Sean. Uh, yeah, they're great. They give you a bit of time away from your screen. You can look at your family once every once a, once once a month. You get a, a few minutes when your app's updating to look at your family. Uh, they're terrible. I've got a very ugly family. Uh, apps apps are already a miracle. Why do I need a better miracle? It's turning us into selfish pricks. Next. Sweat. Sweat. Sweat's great. Uh, because without sweat, we wouldn't have that bit in the Bloodhound Gang song where he goes, "Sweat, baby, sweat." <laughs> I, what would you I, replace it with? Uh, I I concede. That's a perfect argument. Yeah, Next. that's a really good argument. <laughs> uh, angels. Uh, they're great. Uh, I like the way they fly around. They cast miracles. They appear to people, and um, yeah, and also you can spell angles with their name. Uh, I, I, I want to be pro angels, but uh, they are the reason that Robbie Williams wrote the song Angels, which as a bartender in Britain at the time, I had to put up with drug people singing over and over and over again. So as a result, I'm pro demons. Mm. Next. Plain toast. What did you say? Plain toast. Plain toast. Mm. Plain toast. Um, spreads are for communists. Um, <laughs> the plain of the toast, the pure of the heart. <laughs> that was Man. part of, that was part of biden's speech i think was, yeah, yeah i think shrek said it first though um <laughs> we uh plain fuck plain toast if there's no there's a reason that it's the only thing we just eat butter straight off of that's why it's that's how bad it is we cook everything else in butter and toast we're just like fuck just put it on i need to taste anything else next uh, the american century the american century mm. um yeah I, th- I thought that you know, they've done a lot of good stuff. Mouse mats, Bill Gates, uh, that Michael Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> um, give give Belgium a shot. 
everyone back up. We need to hear from the little guy. That's the end of the speed round. Yay! And Man. as it stands, um, I have given Sean three points. Thank you. You won for your arguments on app updates. Mm-hmm. Um, and sweat yeah, and that was, that was strong the uh, uh, uh american uh i uh, know uh, the plain toast the plain toast Thank and you. uh <laughs> and uh chris you got two points and i really i agree with you about uh robbie williams mm. and angels yeah. uh that seemed more an argument against robbie williams though but we have to get at the source yeah. um and the american century i agree give belgium a shot yes Fuck yeah, go Belgium. Too much, too much flack is thrown Belgium's way. They're just like mayonnaise. Leave them alone. Yeah, like that you've cho- you've probably chosen in Belgium one of the only countries that have committed worse atrocities yeah. in the 20th century. <laughs> like, but they were just trying to keep up, you know. If let them set their own agenda, that's it. They're terrible mm, followers. Fair enough. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it, it, it was very close though to you, Sean, because um, because of your um, I, I did enjoy your uh, Michael Jackson. Uh, mouse pads. Uh, y- yes, yeah. mouse pads. You you did name very good stuff, but uh, I had to give it to Chris because right, of so the bill. <laughs> I, I think uh, I think we're tied now. That makes us three three. Uh, so yes, you yeah. are. Yes, yeah. you are tied. All right. Well, now we're gonna we're gonna go into the regrets round. Uh, if uh, if people haven't watched before, the way the regrets round works is Sean will tell me something that he regrets about his life, and I'll tell him why it's the best thing he's ever done. Oh, or lovely. he'll tell me something that he's proud of, and I tell him why he's a piece of shit for thinking that. <laughs> so um, either way, it's totally fine. Sean, unburden yourself. Well, I've gone for the first option because I don't think this far into the pandemic, I've got the stomach to be told <laughs> of a piece of shit anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, Very strong. Self-care, self-care. <laughs> I regret earning enough money that I now have to start paying off my student debts. <laughs> I genuinely regret, I genuinely really wish, because for years, years, I thought I was clear, and now I have. So is yeah. it is it that if you, because in Sweden it works that after a certain while, you just don't have to pay it back, <laughs> or like, or if you move to another country, you just don't pay it back? Wait, is that why you moved here? No, no. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, but... I mean, they're still taking. Okay. Still well, taking. Um, so how <laughs> okay. how long did you make it before you had to start paying it back? Like how many years elapsed between uni and paying it? I mean, it must have been at least eight or nine. Wow. I mean, it must. I mean, it was very recent because yeah. I think what's the threshold is like 20 grand. If you don't earn 20 grand, yeah. you don't do it. And so for, I mean, maybe, yeah, I mean, almost a decade. Almost a decade. I mean, that's good innings, man. That's really well played. Yeah. You know, mm. they say that nothing good lasts forever. And mm. uh, and so you got to just slum it for free for 10 years. That's that's good work. Yeah. And now, now you're a grown up, you're married, you know, you're successful. And so as a result, there are those are those are now your ups and you've got new downs. And those downs are that you have to pay for your old ups. I think it's I um, think... What, what you don't appreciate is that I fucking hated university. I got a third class degree that I've still not received because I owe library debts. <laughs> what was it in? It was in English language. I fucked every element of higher education. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that I now have to pay for that. Mm. Like you, mug, you mugged me off. You mugged me. Did and you? now I'm re-mugging you. And you've got the nerve to, to get my bank involved. Like, how dare you? Did you, did you fuck? people <laughs> Evelyn but did also I, an, also answer the question did I fuck people <laughs> during you university fucked, you fucked every element of higher education but did I you fucked fuck every people? element apart from people which is the only element you want to fuck when you go to university I did think that when you yes, said yes, I okay. fucked every and then you paused for half a second I thought you were going to say I fucked every teacher I had that exactly. was where I thought, I thought it was so going. too yeah 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 me too <laughs> and I was like well that's pretty good Sean yeah that's um, cool. Newcastle University runs a very uh, every hole's a goal philosophy okay yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. even if it's the whole of massive debt <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we did it uh, um, so oh, i mean i think that you're looking at this backwards what you should be seeing is that you got away for 10 years without paying a dime 
while mm -hmm. Newcastle University practically went under, I assume. I can't imagine many people that came out of that university are earning 20 grand or more. Um, is it a prestigious no. university? I know the city and it's very fun, but I wouldn't associate it with learning. <laughs> it's okay. I think it's an okay university. I mean, it let me in. So yeah. strike one, a permanent, strike a one. Permanent <laughs> uh, um, but also, I mean, you studied English and you're a writer, basically you're a comedian. Mm -hmm. So you write all your material. So you must've gotten something out of it. Cause no, because it was like English it. language. It was like technical <laughs> shit. It was all like how it was yeah. like phonology and I, there yeah, was have nothing crazy. Have you analyzed a poem since university? I didn't. We didn't do poetry at university. Oh, all I what? did was like old, like like I to, I to have a whole thing about how how letters are formed in the mouth. <laughs> it was <laughs> the biggest pile of white. I genuinely once did an exam. Where I got two percent was the mark that I got. <laughs> Do you have any idea how bad you have to be? That's your name. You signed your name right. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Three percent. Three grand. Three fucking grand. <laughs> how much? How much is the debt? How much are you paying back? Well, um, we were of the generation that was. It was three grand a year. Okay. Mm. So, uh, plus the student loan was the same. So it's like almost twenty grand. Almost twenty grand. Wow. So I guess the guys today are like. Did you go? Did you go for crazy. seven? Did you go for seven years? No, no. You do three. <laughs> I do. So I, I kept. How I kept old are you? <laughs> you they went for seven years, back. and it's been ten years. <laughs> <laughs> they treated me like. Uh, yeah, I mean, they treated me like I was a, like I was in in school, high school, and they <laughs> held me back a year. Which they had no legal right to do. Oh, that's but uh, how, so what's that like a four year four year degree? Probably no, it was a three. It was a three year degree. Three year degree, mm -hmm. three grand a year, so nine three grand. Three grand a year plus the student loan was also three grand. You got to pay that back. Did you enjoy well, anything you spend, about? What did you spend I, the student loan on? Sorry, on sorry, rent no, and no, 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 drugs, no. Chris. Okay, so you're just paying your party oh. fund back. No, no, no. Yes. I'm mean, sorry, you go for it. Okay. Recreational yeah. drugs or prescri prescription drugs. Whatever was going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh, well then, yeah, fuck you. Pay your goddamn money. That's good. You're learning a lesson now. You can't just breeze. A friend of mine, a friend of mine was worse than you. He got his student loan. He immediately spent all of it on a hang glider. <laughs> I mean, that is... <laughs> I mean, can I have that <laughs> idiot's number, please? He sounds exactly like the types that he's, I. That he's I a wonderful for. man. He's making gin in New Zealand now. He's a good oh dad. My God. He's well, amazing. He's, oh my he's God. in the right place for hang gliding. Yeah. I mean, he's committed. Oh he's God. committed. <laughs> but these are these are the things. If you faced no um, uh, uh, consequences for your terrible actions <laughs> for squandering <laughs> that money. Then that's on you, big guy. That's I think that it's good that you're learning this lesson because if you'd spent if you'd spent it on school and you just all you'd done is learn, oh, then yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> but like, but if you just if you just spent it on partying, then pay it back. That's your dues to society. This is good. You're learning a lesson and you'll be Who's a better husband for it. I hate you know what? I hate this. Sean. Yeah. I, I, I want to ask, so I was going to ask if you enjoyed any part of university, but, but because then you said you, you spent it all on alcohol and drugs, mm -hmm. were, but were they coping mechanisms, this is a leading question, I guess, but were they coping mechanisms to deal with the fact that you hated it there, or was it that you spent so much uh, time partying and drugging that you couldn't keep up with your studies and then that made you sad? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, okay cool I, I don't think it's fair to ask if sean was coping because he hated being somewhere because sean hates being everywhere that's true and so that's not hey, fair i like that's being true. here with you guys oh i Aww. love having you here buddy on the worldwide <laughs> Me <web>. so <laughs> <laughs> thanks al gore um oh. yeah I, i'm gonna leave it at uh, uh you need you need to learn responsibility and this is ultimately very good for you even though it is a it's a tough pill to swallow you got your sugar with your medicine 10 years ago and you just can't taste it anymore look i'm saying it's a regret and mm. I, I genuinely i'm glad the pandemic happened <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that it has pushed my earnings down enough i certainly don't want to be paying what i was paying last year back on the student debt because they'll just they'll just take it they just go here's yeah. the money we're taking it right now out. they yeah. don't they don't warn you 
Would would you what would you have done instead if you could go back and what would you have done instead? What a university. Oh, I mean, would you have gone to university? Yeah, probably. Mm. Um, I'd have done like history or something. I'd have really done something that I enjoyed. Something something else that you never would have used? Another <laughs> Yeah, I'd have done oh, man. that you wouldn't have shown up to. That you <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well, the you, lucrative anyway, field of history. Done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have, I would have done a subject that I could blag. Okay, <laughs> that's what I would have done. I well, thought I could blag my subject, exactly. and I couldn't. Exactly. So the fact that I've got enough, that I've got a degree that is worth less than the paper it's printed on, <laughs> and I'm constantly paying back twenty grand. I, I, I think the fact that you didn't, you didn't even consider being like, I would have spent more of my loan on tuition. <laughs> is, is telling of just how badly you need to pay this back just so that you understand there are consequences but we'll call we'll call that there Avalyn what are you saying so I Sean you had a very strong um argument like I, I felt that your uh argument was very strong at the beginning because you did go into how much like you went into your history you went into what happened mm -hmm. and you you gave a very good argument for like it was all very pointless. All the subjects were very bad. Uh, mm -hmm. You had to sit and learn um, phonetic, uh, phonetically, just speaking. And you didn't seem to do very well in school. And so uh, I thought that that was a very good argument because I, I think it also hit something within me, uh, emotion, because I also felt that way about my higher education. Um, but then when it came out that you basically just got drunk and did drugs, <laughs> I didn't just do that. Two percent on a test, man. It sounds like you did. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Well, that's the reason. That's the reason, Sean. <laughs> you did have a good time. You just didn't have a good time in the academic side, but you sort of had a good time on the social side, even though you didn't you didn't fuck people. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Um but, I uh, think I'm happy to pay it back uh -huh. if the university would just say, we'll give you a better degree right now that you don't have to do anything for. You've waited 10 years. Here's a first class degree. And then I'll be like, fine. Because it's a business transaction. Yeah, but you didn't, but you, you didn't do the job. You don't pay yeah, a gardener for not job. weeding your lawn. What do you mean? Was, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? I don't pay my guy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you didn't, but you didn't. You didn't put the work in. You can't just buy a degree. But I'm That's, paying uh, them. I'm paying yeah, them for the yeah, opportunity but... to earn your degree. Yeah, it's oh, like so how you, it's like how you pay a gym. Exposure. It's like yeah. how you, you pay you pay for a gym. Yeah. They just give you <laughs> butt implants. You got to do the squats. <laughs> That's actually. This does remind me of my relationship with my gym. I exactly. I just go and stand there, and I expect things to happen. Mm. Um, but yeah, so I I will say uh, Chris does get this. Um, this round because he identified uh, the true <laughs> the true kind of problem, which is that uh, Sean um, was expecting to just buy a degree <laughs> rather than than work for it. Uh, I mean, so I'm a what? I'm a white man. I mean, I just don't. <laughs> Our time is coming to an end, my friend. I just think. <laughs> Come on, uh, this is Newcastle. I'm a white guy. Yeah. Like this is the face of the future. Sun setting. <laughs> this is Sun's the... getting real low, yeah. big guy. Um, <laughs> Avengers fans, anyone? No. All right, cool. Oh, oh uh, okay. <laughs> Avengers, did you say? Uh, yeah, just the Avengers. They they're the prequel to the Avengers. And I'm just committing the crimes. <laughs> is the it a about to is is the Avengers the yeah. Canadian Avengers? <laughs> <laughs> The Ooh. Avengers. Oh, I want to hate that, but it's so funny. Uh, it's right. It's <laughs> solid stuff, man. Yes, good stuff. Let me tell you, I wouldn't have learned that in fucking phonology class. You learned that <laughs> house partying. That's where you learn wit like that. I keep thinking you're saying phrenology class, like the bumps on the head racism theory. <laughs> what? But it was oh, phonology. Phonology. It's yeah, phonology. I did phrenology. Phrenology. Yeah. I'm, mother, father, I've got into phrenology school. <laughs> Maybe you would have enjoyed that more, Sean, no. than the English degree. I think bit, you'd certainly be some characters. Yeah. That's, that's a fact. <laughs> um, all right. That's uh, that's the end of the regrets round. We're going to move on to the second mm -hmm. speed round right now. Josh, if we can get the clock back up, please. 
Uh, and Sean, because you were uh, for everything last time, you're going to be against everything this time. Ooh. So, uh, Josh, if you can please start the clock. Evelyn, let's do a speed round. Rehearsals. Sean. Uh, no one ever needs to practice for anything. Uh, we didn't practice this, and this is the greatest thing in the history of entertainment. This is absolutely wonderful, but uh, I think Sean's uh, regret shows that practice uh, is definitely useful uh, because if he practiced at school, he wouldn't have that regret. Next. Callbacks, baby. They're winning. <laughs> winning? Yes. Yeah. Never done it. Never planning on doing it. <laughs> Put me in good stead. Um, it would be a, a very strange man who started a game show podcast that didn't enjoy winning. So really, it started this whole thing. So I'm pro winning. Thanks for bringing verses mm -hmm. into my life. Next. Uh, coins. Uh, I mean, who fucking needs coins anymore? We don't even need notes. I'm sorry. The only reason you, anyone ever had coins was just so you could go to other countries and compare them. But now we don't even, I don't want to do that anymore. Britain for uh, the British. <laughs> you need coins because what else are you going to put on railroad tracks to have it flattened by trains? Because once we run out of coins, people are going to start putting thicker things and start derailing trains. It's going to be a whole thing. Okay. COVID. Yeah, it's, not this really... <laughs> it's not great. It's not great. I think it's, you know, it's, it's killing a lot of people. It's ruining the coin industry. Um, yeah, I'm against it. Um, I'm pro COVID uh, <laughs> because uh, it's, uh, it's made us appreciate uh, all the places that we used to hate. I'd, I'd give anything to be at Monkey Business Comedy right now. Uh... <laughs> oh, me <meow. laughs> Okay, sermons. Uh, no, not with them. Uh, I was a good Catholic boy, had to go to mass every week. Fucking sick of those old Irish priests, kind of the same shit over and over again. Oh, Mix no. it up, boys. Um, uh, uh, pro <laughs> sermons, because if you don't have, if you don't have anything meaningful to say, at least say a lot. Thanks, sermons. <laughs> and we'll call okay. that there, because oh, that's yeah. zero. End that's of the speed zero. round. Okay, so you guys came out of this 3-3. Three, three. Mm -hmm. Because let's see here. Uh, oh, I can't remember. Oh, so for rehearsals, I gave both of you a point each because I mm. thought it was very good argued from both sides. Uh, very true, Sean. Uh, we didn't rehearse for this, and it's the greatest thing that's ever been recorded. And uh, very true, uh, bets. Uh, I can't remember your argument, but I remember it was good at the time. <laughs> and. <laughs> This For is such, that is such an insult. <laughs> that is such an insult. I think, I think, uh, yeah, I think Sean deserves a point on that one then. Okay, <laughs> let's yeah. remove a point for yeah, Kristen. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I gave Sean a point for winning because uh, uh, winning, uh, it just fits. Uh, yes, it, it's exactly, I feel the same way. Nobody needs to win. And it fits with your aura. You've always been that's the person that's the persona of sean mclaughlin the the non-winner just a couple of beta cucks that's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> exactly when you try to go alpha chris it didn't suit you yeah. so yeah. I, that's not great uh coins uh i appreciated the argument uh, no it was sean again actually because oh, yes damn, uh, because of the England for England comment. <laughs> Very good. And uh, yes, I did. I did like the, the train argument, but um, that's so American and so like stand by you that I was like, this isn't real. <laughs> um, and then COVID it bets because yes, we do appreciate why we can't go right now. Uh, and sermons um, was also bets because yes, I do enjoy the rhythm of a sermon, even though they're saying nothing. It's just really lovely to listen to. Bam, nice. All right, so that leaves, that leaves us tied again because I won the regrets round. We're at six, six, my goodness. Oh, you are at six, six. Every time you think you fucking knock me out, bet. This is bullshit. I am uh, <laughs> mm, sick of this, you goddamn beta cucks. Uh, <laughs> Such a I'm not fun, you try it. Such a fun name to call people. I hate like I, it's, it's I hate really so fun. much so much of the the toxicity going on. But beta cuck mm. is such a fucking perfect mean thing to say. It's great. Uh, <laughs> Have you been advertising this show on like Parlor <laughs> and QAnon? That's, yeah, this has been taken down by Amazon Web Services. We're just, <laughs> just, just, um, okay, so uh, we're going into the judges round now, tied. <gasps> so this is this is for all the all the marbles. Uh, so the way this works is, uh, Evelyn, you've chosen a topic. Sean mm -hmm. and I don't know what it is. Sean, mm -hmm. before Evelyn tells us what it is, do you want to be for or against whatever she's about to say? 
Wait, so she tells us a topic and then... And then we debate it, but you have to pick your stance before you know what it is. I'll be for it. I was against stuff before, now I'll be for it. Nice okay. one. All right. What am I What am I supporting, Evelyn? So you are supporting the I have a friend of that race group or, you know, is a valid argument for white people to use. <laughs> All right, Sean, do you want to take the take the lead on this? So one? who was who was can, for it, it and who was against I it? I am I am for this. Okay, and yes. I don't feel bad about that as someone with an Asian friend <laughs> that I booked on the show. Uh, so <laughs> I feel like uh, you've given me a pass that I will then show <laughs> to other people of color when they watch this video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are there any comments about Asia or Asians that you would like to share at this moment? Um, I think they've done a great job with COVID. Uh, Chopsticks clearly superior to forks. Um, I, I think that you guys are the future of breakdancing. <laughs> Why? Why? Uh, <laughs> what have you seen? Yeah. What are you basing this on? Uh, I, think I think you're flying too close fast, to the sun here, Bet. Fast, <laughs> fast and the Furious 3 Tokyo Drift. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, the best movie ever made. Absolutely. Better than fast, Shrek. It was Fast and the Furious 2 Tokyo Drift. That came and with that, that was, House of Cards 4. That was too fast, too furious, my friend. <laughs> oh, God, it was too fast and furious. <laughs> oh, this is great. God, I hate being friends with such terrible nerds. <laughs> <laughs> I may not have seen Citizen Kane, but I'll tell you what I have. <laughs> no, um, now listen, listen. You can't look. You can't just say I have a friend of a particular race and say that that's enough. Okay, this is twenty twenty twenty. Okay, <laughs> you've got to go here. the whole hog. Yeah. I don't think you're allowed to even claim that you that you've got a race. That, that, that you you're not allowed to be racist free, right? It should be like a punch card. You've got to go to every continent and you need to prove to a local that you've eaten the cuisine, <laughs> that you've pretended to find their culture interesting, <laughs> that you've done a cool Instagram story with legitimate hashtags, <laughs> <laughs> that you visited a site of like a war memorial for their culture and shed a tear, mm -hmm. and that you've uh, made love to a local bride. Punch bride. card. Bride. All, co all continents. <laughs> So I'm including Australia, so that's a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's their fucking history? Oh, look, that's a, that's a that beer can's been there for 20 years. Mm. But that's what I think. You can't just be like, oh, I've got a friend, so I'm no, 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 no. You need to put you need to put the work in. And that's mm. that's my argument. To um, understand the culture, basically. Yes, yes. But that's not understanding. No, no, you that's... don't even I don't, I'm not saying you have to understand <laughs> no. the culture. Oh, you don't have no, to no, understand no. it. This is a okay, checkbox okay. system. Oh, so <laughs> it's all for you show. To, it's a cultural it's just... scavenger hunt. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Yeah. So it's like it's all for show so that you can use this argument if you need to. Yeah. It's well, I mean, it's 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 another it's another weapon in your arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> as a as a white, yes. Okay. As a white. As a white. <laughs> I think that, um, you know, there's nothing, I, I think that you have to be honest about whether they're your friend or your, they're your acquaintance. You know, you've got to, if you've only got an acquaintance, that doesn't count. But if you've got a good friend, someone that came to your wedding, someone that, <laughs> I'm looking at you, Evelyn, someone that <laughs> um, um, you've yeah. had, someone where you're, you're uh, 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 ethnic bud. Uh, <laughs> Has ethnic, cooked ethnic bud. Yeah, you're ethnic isn't that, bud. Isn't that the sequel to Air Bud? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna they're coming out with it next year. <laughs> <The> ethnic bud <laughs> has um, uh, cooked uh, you a meal in their uh, 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 cuisine, their home country's <laughs> cuisine. Um, then Who's done I that? feel Evelyn's like done that. Evelyn's done that as well. Um, <laughs> what, I think, what was yeah, board? Yeah, uh, I feel we like did Bets wontons, a, fried yeah, chicken. Yeah. Um, then all all of these things because because of that I've, uh, I've I've not only intertwined my life but my views with this person and so they have therefore vouched for me uh, and so I should be allowed to do that vouch it's like it's like when you show up to a party and they go why are you here and you go oh because I'm friends with Sean and they go mm. oh well then come on in because you're Sean's friend and that's fine I should be able to be like well you know the thing about Asians is they're the future breakdancing and I know that because I have an Asian friend so I do and like that, that should be fine. I do like that argument, but I once did bring a friend to Phil Wang's party, mm. and then he ended up hitting on Phil Wang's girlfriend at the time. Open relationship. Mm. 
And uh, oh, but she didn't enjoy that. <laughs> well, that's a separate thing. That's and so that was uh, that was how how do, how do we know so much about Phil and his relationship? But so that um, so I was very embarrassed. Um, and Phil, Phil was a bit uh, poofed by that. But he's would such you, a would, great would you have felt better if everyone at that party had the same punch card and we knew how many cultures they were aware of, which places they'd been to, <laughs> who they were allowed to hit on? But I would be I, like, oh, I can hit on you because <laughs> I've made love to a bride from your culture. <laughs> I got the stamp. <laughs> But, but I was... it's, it's just, it's people say bureaucracy like it's a bad thing. I honestly think it's the only way to beat the scourge of racism is relentless is, bureaucracy. It, is to put, put all these people of ethnic, different ethnic backgrounds that you met onto a list that you carry around with you. That's what you want to do. Look, <laughs> hey, but I add, Chris, we're on a list for them as well. They have to go to Britain. Oh, okay. They've, yeah, got, they've, got, Britain. they've got they white friends. Yeah. Fuck a woman in Stoke. <laughs> <laughs> they have to. They have, oh. to they have to cry at Hastings because there's a battle there. <laughs> it's the, it's a two, It's not just for us. It's for everyone. A UN sanctioned. <laughs> UN sanctioned. Hole punch policy. <laughs> oh that's great um do we want to continue or do we want to I have think, a judgment no, we'll, we'll we'll call it we'll call it there evelyn mm -hmm. what are you saying <laughs> so basically sean's argument is that we have a system where <laughs> is quite similar to the i have a friend of that race <laughs> argument is now but a bit more complicated <laughs> because but with, but with receipts <laughs> With, with the receipts, with no, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Anyone oh, can with... say it. Anyone can say it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about a qualification. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. That you can basically, I guess this is actually better because you could buy this. You could actually just buy this. You wouldn't have no. to do the work of like the university degree. Yeah, um, how would you combat fraud? There'd be a lot of fraud. No, no, no. There'd be no, so you much fraud. fraud. No, There'd no. Be... You'd, com you'd combat fraud because they would, everyone's, Right, everyone's <laughs> retinas and fingerprints are put into a central database. A this tracking is, device it's go, it's is going off the rails, implanted. big guy. No, a tracking <laughs> device has been planted into the spine. <laughs> See, I was waiting for that because I was like, yeah. okay, punch card, but you know, why not just make it an app? <laughs> why, why did it have to be a punch card, Sean? Well, just move it, app. move it digitally. Um, well, I know that uh, Sean was supposed to be against the argument. Um, I have forgotten what the argument was. Yeah, Can I, yeah. I to say that? <laughs> that was very obvious uh, because your argument somehow made it worse. <laughs> So, and so bets actually, <laughs> so I was already, <laughs> I was already sort of against it. Um, uh, but, and then uh, bets, you were supposed to be for the argument. Um, right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And honestly, uh, <laughs> you guys, I feel like you guys sort of argued the same point, no, but that's Sean I'm right. just, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Sean just made it more complicated, and in the complication of it, he <laughs> ended up arguing for you mm -hmm. rather than against you. Um, and I really do enjoy you appealed to me personally. I saw that, um, but unlike uh, judges of like proper courts, I actually do enjoy that because that is polishing my ego. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just so think that's you... I just think that's I think that's so typical yeah. of the world that we're living in. <laughs> when I'm offering practical solutions. I thought you were gonna say of Asian friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well also might my, my I add that there was a point where Chris did use the phrase. So it means that I could go to a party and go, the thing with Asians is I mean it's not a phrase yeah. that you really want to associate with someone who's who's got the, the right attitude towards towards different cultures. Yes, that's... because Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, no, no, I want to hear the yes to that. <laughs> I'll be there and defend that man <laughs> to the grave because he enjoyed my crispy fried chicken once. It was delicious. It was delicious. We still talk about it. We still talk about it.
What about the first night of Edinburgh Fringe 2018? Didn't you stay? Didn't I allow you to stay in my flat? Oh, that's I right. I buy us a curry. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, you did. That's not what this is about. What you should have done is leverage that friendship into casual racism. But you yeah, didn't. Yeah, what I should have done that's is said you, to you, you are to come and you are to prepare a dish from your <laughs> native country. Or why the fuck are we even here? <laughs> exactly. That is how I like to be treated, Sean. And you completely fucked that up. Um, <laughs> but yes, I am giving it to Betts yes. because Sean got confused. And didn't... I'm, not the one, I'm not the one that's confused. I'm not the one that's confused. <laughs> as soon as the UN signs off on this thing, we are going to banish racism in a generation. Oh, gosh. Very, very good. Very fun. Excellent. All right. I'm the champion. Yes. Thank Yay. you very much. Excellent. Chris Betts won. That was good. I really thought that it was going to, uh, I'm, I'm impressed with you, Evelyn, because uh, uh, Sean was so passionate and had the real sermon vibe going there, especially when he got into the UN. He that did, it was, yeah, it yeah. Really, he got carried away with it, and I was, um, yeah, I was, I was worried. I thought I'd lost it right there. That passion was very convincing, uh, but it you was, weren't swayed. You weren't, and I respect that. That's good. Judging. I won't. I wasn't because you buffered. You polished my ego more, uh, and <laughs> and also, I did enjoy it very much, Sean. Um, but uh, he just for he he ultimately argued for you. So so he he was successful in that. He, you do, you also are part of this win, Sean, because you argued for bets. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> my, uh, you're my... saying that I shouldn't be allowed. You're saying that bets was arguing that you should be allowed <laughs> to say, "Here's my Asian, this is my Asian friend, so I'm not racist." Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I'm but... arguing that you can't just say that because it's not enough. Yes, so arguing, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're so, arguing. Betts is saying you should be able to say that without doing all the work that you were suggesting that yeah. we do. Yeah, you yeah. you could you could have just argued, yeah. don't say racist things, but you yeah. just couldn't live in that world, could yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> so you were arguing for the same point, but yours was just so much more elaborate and just sounded really exhausting. But like, I'm sorry, what a fun but... trip, but. <laughs> Without an international interconnected database, uh, what's without the name? a world government knowing exactly where we are <laughs> at all times, we've, how, we've are got... we, how are we supposed to get anything done? Oh, my, my wife, uh, my wife is bragging about her white husband. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That is my white husband. And Baldy says, uh, did you keep the receipt? My wife says, you don't have to pay money for a white husband. <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> that is very true. But I would love to see your punch card for being with her. Oh, yeah. I brandish it everywhere. I'm yeah, just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Iranian wife. Slam. <laughs> um, all right. So that is uh, the end of the show. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Before we go, uh, Sean, do you have anything that you'd like to plug? Are you selling any comedy albums? Have you got a podcast? Are you streaming on Twitch? Are you dancing on OnlyFans? What's going on? I'm dancing on OnlyFans. Yeah, good. <laughs> um, I'm the at Asian breakdancer, 69. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you can watch my show, Hail Mary, is on YouTube. Yeah. And it's to be an album Fantastic soon. show. Fantastic. Amazing show. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Sean you is one that. of the, you're one of the greatest stand ups. You're my favorite British stand up right now. Life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, guys. Yeah. That is. Uh, Even that... after all that bad, all <laughs> <laughs> borderline fascist. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, cool. 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 Um, also, mm -hmm. um, your uh, social network stuff is just your name, right? Sean McLaughlin? On Twitter, it is yeah. It's Sean McLaughlin yeah. from comedian on Instagram. Okay, cool. that on. that should come up in the comments, but uh, but follow Sean. He's great, and watch Hail Mary because it's so fucking funny. Thank um, you. And Thank you I was very much. I was in the room when those Irish people called you racist. So that's in Hail Mary, isn't it? Or is that uh, the that one before? The before? That was in the one before. Uh, oh, fair enough. Yeah. Oh, is that the is I was there too actually when they walked out. Yeah, that was at MacFest. That was such a great. Yeah. Day. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well. <laughs> If I'd have had a, if only if I'd have had a punch card. Yeah. <laughs> well, to go. Sean McLaughlin. You didn't have any Irish friends. Only Irish family all the way back. Yeah, That's only the, the most <laughs> Irish name in the world, and clearly is an Irish person. So don't worry about oh, it. Oh gosh. Uh, of course, funny. yeah. F uh, follow uh, Sean. Watch Hail Mary for sure. Evelyn, what about you? What are you? What are you? What are you doing? Well, it, this is related to my race. Uh, I have a podcast called Rice to Meet You uh, that I am. <laughs> 
co-hosting with uh, uh, someone who shall not be named. Um, oh, no, with oh the, wow. No, I'm kidding. No, 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 no. I'm kidding. Voldemort himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. we. Uh, Uncle Voldemort. Uncle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, that's probably the funniest thing I've ever heard. Uh, Chris. <laughs> So funny, uh, but I co-host it with Nigel Ung, um, and it's a it's a comedy podcast about Asian culture. But right now, honestly, it's just about him talking about getting laid and me talking about how I don't get laid. <laughs> and so that's the vibe of that podcast. Um, and I I'm starting another one uh, about K dramas, uh, which mm. will also have the vibe of not getting laid. So <laughs> K dramas. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm starting a podcast about K holes, so maybe we should. Have... <laughs> we should collaborate. Korean pornography. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my oh, area gosh. of expertise. Yeah. Mm. Um, all right. Well, uh, uh, check out Rice to Meet You. Um, do you have a name for your K drama podcast, or is that coming up later? Well, uh, for now, it's called the K Drama Cast, and it is on our Patreon for now. But I'm going to release it publicly, and then maybe when I release it publicly, I'll change the the name. But okay, cool. the well, K Drama Cast. Cool. Follow Evelyn on Twitter and Instagram at Evelyn yeah. Mock. It's Evelyn Mock on both, right? Yes, and cool. inst- follow me on Instagram only because Twitter is dead to me. Uh, well, as soon as Trump <laughs> left, she just wasn't interested anymore. She tried I mean, Parlor and it got shut yeah, down. Such a the shame. Most <laughs> most boring thing ever. Yeah. No. <laughs> Um, uh, he... oh, <laughs> uh, you follow me uh, at Mr. Chris Betts. Uh, the Patreon link is up in the chat. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like it, and all that stuff. Uh, subscribe to the podcast, the Chris Betts versus podcast. Uh, the audio episode of this will come out Sunday, and we're about to record a conversation podcast that will also be coming out. So check that out. We got past episodes with uh, Jamali Maddox, Pierre Novelli, Laura Lex, um, a bunch of great acts, um, Ed Knight, and Olga Cockron last week. So uh, check that out. Is there anything else? I don't think so. We're back next week with uh, Mickey Overman and Helen Bauer. Uh, So watch the live stream for that. And otherwise, uh, take care. Congratulations. Uh, uh, Trump is gone. We can all breathe again. Uh, Here's to my wife and I being able to travel safely to the United States. Uh, That's that's, 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 that